Okay, now for starters, we'll take our. For some reason, I still have a speck in, in this one. I'm not sure whether I should worry about that or not. But just to show you what apple juice will do to this mixture, what, how it changes. Notice how it change, turns to jet black. That tells you that the iodine has come out of its bond with the DMSO and is now in its back in its free elemental state, just like it was when the sediment was sitting at the bottom of the teacup. This you do not want to drink. So this is an example of what not to do. Show you what an example of what to do. We'll take the lemon juice that I've already squeezed and pour it into this teacup and it still retains its light in this case I diluted it too quickly so you didn't get a chance to see it a light orange color so it didn't change the color it simply diluted it and then we can add some water to make it more tasty because that's really you wouldn't want to take the DMSO that strong now in this case we're going to take the plastic cup and add water and I don't know if we can see it here in this shot but you'll get one time I got a ring of black along the edge and that told me the plastic cup is no good it told me this was plastic I didn't even know it was so now you just you might want to pour this into a bigger glass and add more water in case it's too too strong the lemon juice fill it up to the top and then wait half an hour or an hour preferably and then take either some other vitamin that has a vitamin C in it or a sports fizzy drink or a neutralizer tablet to neutralize any residual iodine in your system or maybe vitamin C crystals but wait half an hour or an hour and of course you drunk this on an empty stomach and that's it for this portion of the recipe